Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online where we are playing the Hellbringer today. This thing is just glorious. It is a really good mech for everybody who likes laser vomit, who likes energy builds and who likes to have ECM on top of that. I call this one here the Money Bringer because it is giving us so many C builds. Watch the end of the first game and take a look at the end score there. It is ridiculous how much money you can make with that thing. Um, this one here is the Virago. It's a hero mech that brings a C build bonus to it. And, you know, again, I put that build together on this specific mech to just farm a bit of C-Builds whenever I need to and uh, have a good time with that. But you can play this build with any Hellbringer you like because it is a build that requires regular Omnipods only and you just get the Prime left torso, you get the either the Virago right torso or where is the other thing? The, the P right torso and you have a good time already. So you don't necessarily need the hero mech for it. But uh, I'm taking it again for the C-Build bonus which is really really nice. As you can see we are running two heavy lasers, we are running four ER medium lasers all of the lasers sync up very nicely in terms of range. We can shoot at about 450-500 meters for optimal damage and we can even shoot beyond that because our maximum range is 981, which is ridiculous. And uh, that means we can kind of position ourselves in the flank of the enemies because we also have ECM, which makes it really hard for them to track where we are going and then just pepper our enemies and, and just deal massive damage over time. Um, 24 heat sinks keep the mech cold somewhat it's still a big energy boat and uh, we have 81 kph at our disposal to reposition whenever we need to also this mech has such great high hard points look at this everything is mounted on the high shoulders and in the head which makes it very easy to peek with that in a vertical way the armor is almost maxed out so that's also worth noting and yeah that's kind of very straightforward build i mean have you seen the hellbringer already i don't know it's quite strong let's take a look at the skills before we get into the games though as you can see we have the laser vomit firepower tree getting laser duration getting cooldown and getting the heat containment no not the heat containment the heat gen nodes as well it's helping us out in kind of different ways here. Cooldown for uh, shooting more often, heat gen for keeping the mech cold, and then also the range, which is great because we don't want to be in the thick of the fight. Definitely not. We also have survivability, at the very least a little bit. The left side of the survivability is filled with armor hardening nodes. Keeps us alive a little longer. It's not that great because one thing about the Hellbringer, which is actually a drawback, the hitboxes of the side torsos are massive. It's easy to take that thing apart. And by the way, you should really try to uh, save your left side torso at all costs because there's, that's where your ECM is in and that's where most of your energy weapons are sitting. So uh, try to preserve that. Kind of, if you have to, shield with the right side if needed. We also have maximum cool run, maximum heat containment. It's a laser build. What do you expect? There is just that. We need to keep the mech cold in order to fire our weapons. And we have enhanced ECM because we also have an ECM built in and we need to benefit from that. Other than that, um, it's not gonna worth anything. Double cool shot, again, to keep the mech cold, plus a UAV to give some information to the team, and that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now, and if you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel for more daily content, and now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, guys, first game of the day. We are playing the Grimplexus, we are playing Conquest. I actually want to get to the center, because we have about 500 meters range on our weapon systems, which means we can comfortably shoot at 800, and then, of course, closer to deal optimal damage. And I want to see if somebody is in there, in the center, and trying to cap Theta and uh, if so we're gonna shoot at them and if uh, there are people on the high ground which will most likely happen then uh, I'm gonna take some cover because it might be very scary to do so yeah look at that oh hello I'm not gonna shoot yet I don't want to give away my position they are not aware uh, now okay we dealt some damage and when I say some I mean some it's not much so the, p the thing is here the thing is uh, we cannot really contest Theta because it's in a ditch uh, to some extent yeah, but we can definitely try to not get hit by all of those guys. This is too, this is way too risky. What we can do is we can take the, the trench as cover and then try to shoot those guys who are kind of doing things down here. Missiles coming, I see. Oh, poor Waka. Very poor Waka. I'm gonna try to hit his leg again. Okay, pinned him down and... Somebody of us is dead! Oh, the Kid Fox! No, Little Foxy! No, we traded one for one. I'm so sorry, man. Little guy is always bad. Get the legs of the Ivy. The Ivy 4. It is not much damage that we can do there at 800 meters. Really, it's very tiny damage. But that's a guy that we can hit. Okay, so, Mr. Awesome. Left side on the Awesome. Foxtrot. Okay, let's try again. Wait for my people to come. And this guy is running MR freaking M's. Right, cool. 
Is he, is he, is he still here? Yes. And that's, oh, it's also a kill. He was XL. Interesting. All right, let's get out of here, guys. It's getting way, way too hot for me. Only using the large lasers because they have a bit of an extended range compared to the mediums. But we need to find an angle on those guys now. Wow. Is that a quick draw? Yeah, he's gonna get, he's gonna get decimated. So, Arctic Wolf, where are you going? I can provide you some ECM, so I'm gonna help out the skirmishes and try to go into a flanking position. Look at all the missiles! That's insane! That's utterly insane, guys. Huh? Not dead? Oh, wait. Let's go for his leg again. Okay, we legged him. And we also killed him. That was an ammo explosion, I think. Yeah, pretty much. Right, we are three and three. Um, these missile bolts have to be silent and quite quickly. This rock dude is super scary though. So what are we doing? Let's try to find our angle here. Okay, so Sun Spiderling, what are you doing there? Do we have any fast movers left? Mm, no, I'm not a fast mover, certainly not. No guys, I think we have to push this. Yeah, it's just the arm there, for, but it's at the very least a bit of damage. Uh, there's an Atlas coming in. He's, he's a brawler. I need to go overheat here. Get that Atlas, please. Hotel. We have somewhat hard locks on this guy. Popping a UAV. I think we are getting pushed here. I, I need to get out of the uh, left side of the Atlas, guys. Left side. Let's run. All right. So, we have some people coming though. It's a 3 and 3 scenario still, and this Atlas is getting peppered there. Let's help him out, or let's help our team out by doing something like that. Helping, trying, and legs on the... Ah, that's bad. That's so, that's so bad. We wasted that complete alpha strike into the terrain. Still. Legs, 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 legs. Legs on Kilo, the assassin. If you can get there. Ah, that's nothing. Again, wasted heat. Let's go... Uh, over here. Let's go over here and help out against the Marauder that's coming. Alright. Get that guy. Some damage in. I mean, he is basically dead. Yeah, I leave him here. We have better targets. Like that Mauler. He is so scary, guys. What about that guy? He's not shooting back? What? what what's going on there? Yeah, you want to get some? Get some. Haha, <laughs> take that, mister. I will take the damage in return, gladly. Luckily, we have all the camps right now, all the camps that we need. Cool thing about him and me here is that I can deal my damage in bursts and he needs to deal the damage over time, which means I have the better matchup. And one more burst of lasers and he is down. Hey, dude, turn around. Uh, okay, so that didn't quite work, but he is almost destroyed. Got him, perfect. So, up to Mr. Oh, the Banshee. Yeah, let's keep going. We still have a very comfortable lead in terms of caps. Uh, in terms of kills, somewhat. I, I think this is time to go. This is the Atlas. It's a sticky Atlas. I'm not going to go for the sticky Atlas. Um, yeah, get the leg of the Stalker, Foxtrot. Uh, sorry, Juliet. Side torso, maybe. Uh, come on. Good. Eight and seven. I need to get to the Stalker now. Stalker is very much killable. Let's try to take him. I will push that guy. And that's a mistake. Because we also have a crab here. Side torso? No, just the, just the arm. Nine and seven? Is it doable? Did we get the Stalker? No. Did we get the crab? Not quite. Still not dead. Wow, that Stalker. I'm gonna go for Mr. Krabs there. Uh, you can have the Stalker. Somebody is also capping Epsilon. So... Yeah, we got him. Nice. Wow, man. Crabs. They are so sturdy. They have great hitboxes to absorb laser damage. But is it going to be enough? Is it? It might be. Standard engine. It's mine. Come on. <laughs> so, last guy is at Epsilon. And we're going to just turn around and try to snatch that dude. Oh, it was, it was the assassin. Legs on the assassin. He is almost down. Yeah. All right, um, we probably are not able to keep him spotted, right? So is our light squadron going over to Epsilon or is... Yeah, I think they are trying to catch him, right? Which is the right thing to do here. The light mech should try to actually pursue him and, and try to get things done. Nice pincer move coming out. Um, but we lost track. Is he going to Sigma? 
I think he might be. He might be taking off to Sigma to actually try to get things done. Or he is trying to preserve his kill-death ratio. Or he is trying to snatch a kill later. So there are so many different possibilities. I'm gonna go to Sigma because I anticipate him to try to get there. Let's see. Although it's kind of a lost cause. Oh, target spotted on the other side of the battlefield? Yeah, there is. Okay, cool. Acquired. A thousand meters away, we will never ever gonna get a shot on him. Unless... Uh, he's pushing through, coming over here against all of these guys. Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. So we can just wait for our people to kind of finish the assassin off. That was a great game, guys. That was uh, was really cool. Um, I think I dealt a good chunk of damage. I think we are close to 800 here in this build. Because we were not always in optimal range, but we got so many laser bursts out. And, I mean, if you look at... Where's that thing? At this here, you can see we got four kills. So that's worth something. Right. So, what is the Osiris doing? Disengaging, actually. Oh, did he get afraid? What's the assassin doing there? Shooting our Arctic Wolf. And the Arctic Wolf, honestly, is on the brink of death. But yeah, here you can see the legs. Down they go. Good job, team. That was amazing. That was really cool. I had a blast in this one here. All right, so our flanking maneuver actually paid off. And um, yeah, we got a good amount of shots into the open when the enemies were trying to cross. So much for my 800. Um, I had a wrong assessment here. That's a 1,259 damage game with 4 killing blows, 5 kill, most damage dealt, 7 assists, and 11 components destroyed. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, a second game of the day. We are playing the Domination. The, the Domination. The only Domination that exists in the entire Inner Sphere. The Domination in the Rubelite Oasis. So... Here we go. We're gonna go to the low ground here, I think, because I want to get some cover and I want to sneak upon my enemies and I don't want to be an obvious target early on. So let, let's kind of let's kind of stay here and see if we can get somebody in our sights and uh, hopefully get a nice alpha strike out or maybe even two. That's kind of my my only goal right now. Just being down here, kind of blocking the side from uh, everybody that's currently on the high ground, and then we're gonna come around the corner and shoot a. Uh, Corner? 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 Or center? No, corner. We're gonna come around the corner and then we're gonna shoot into the high ground where they are right now. Echo 6, Delta 6, you can see PPCs are already flying. And I hope that they are not realizing that they have no idea that we are here. And... Oh, there we go. Oh, that's... Uh, hi. You see me? Zip. Yep, I have a friend with me. That's the good news. Bad news is that I should have just gone for the legs of that eye before. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Good jump there, gotta say. Uh, it's Kit Fox. Oh, man. Oh, man. It feels bad hitting the little ones. But we need more vision. Where, Where is the Ivy? Where is the Wolfhound? Where did the Kit Fox go? Oh, there are a bunch of people. Oh, he took it to the chest. Oh, boy. Oh, that's an assault mech. Ooh, did I start an S car, by the way? It might be. I didn't want to. I just wanted to get into a position. Hello, Jir. Get out of here. Yo, we up. <laughs> I paid with that. Uh, I paid with my armor for that, for what I just did. So, yeah, a bunch of people are trying to get something like an assault mech down there. I hope... Oh, I can help. Okay. So, I, I took my medium lasers here because they have a lower cooldown and I can shoot them uh, earlier in combination with the other weapons again. There's a guy. Okay, so the problem with the laser build is that everybody easily can trace the lasers back to the origin, which is me. Uh, there's a guy in Echo 6. It's one guy only. We can kill him. Uh, it's a it's a Cyclops. Oh, there. Oh, that's two Cyclopses. So much for only one guy, huh? Sorry, it's two Cyclopses. And they are angry. They are very angry. Also, I'm getting shot by PPCs from somewhere. Let me, let me bail. Do we bail? Or do we push? I mean, this guy, yeah, he's getting pushed, so we're gonna help. Okay. And now we're gonna try to dive down here. Without being hit, ideally. Okay. Hmm, not good. Hey, Kid Fox! Where are you going, man? Uh-huh. Two and zero. I'm center of attention! <laughs> Which is not nice. Alright, but the good news is that we have regrouped again. And I think if we just go back and try to stick to second line, we actually can get things done here. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Alright, so this game is way messier than the one before, but it's cool. I like it. We got two kills already, so that's nice. That's a lot of fire coming from here. From from the enemy's direction. Good. Alright. So, my ECM is always countered. 
Why? I have questions, man. Is it done? Is it destroyed? No, it's just countered. It's still here. Yeah, we have somebody with a probe here, and it's a, that's a kid fox up there or something else. I don't know. Um, get that guy. The Vapor Eagle. This guy above me is kind of worrying me a bit. Uh, but we are in a 3 and 0 scenario, so that's okay. Good damn it, there he is! Hello, Vapor Eagle. Hi. You are LRMs? Okay. Get that guy down, please. Thank you. And I think this is the guy that also had the Beagle Probe, or the Active Probe, the Clan Active Probe. Which was disrupting my ECM, sure. Six and one, looking good, guys. Looking very good. Kid Fox is trying to get away. Mm, yeah, let's uh, counter push them. Although this is a horrible idea because um, I'm in no condition to fight a full push. I just hope that they are damaged enough. And um, yeah, I can maybe get a kill or two, but no, all of them are dead. Somebody kind of actually dropped to death. <laughs> Did you see that? I think it was the Kid Fox. It might have been the Kid Fox. What's the Lanner gonna do? There's a Black Lanner right above us. And I think I want to pursue him. He's gonna soon get, uh, yeah, kind of pushed into our Assault Mech that is hopefully there up on the high ground. So, I believe uh, he's taking off to the other side now. Oh, this is so weird. Can I hit from here? I want to help! I really want to help, guys! Where's the Lanner? <laughs> oh, there he is. Yeah, I was not decisive enough. Okay. Target destroyed. Oh, let's get over here. See if I can get an angle on the lander, which is probably not gonna happen. But hey, there's hope. He actually got a kill. He killed the light mech. Interesting. Uh... Oh, God damn it, he's gonna go over... No, oh, the other way around again. No. <laughs> we got one shot out, though. Oh, man. Stay here. All right. Now he dropped. Uh, tracing. And hitting. <laughs> this guy is taking off to Delta 4, by the way. Delta 5-ish now. Um, our assault mech is still on the high ground. He might be able to intercept this dude, but he's so fast. I mean, it's a Black Lanner. Of course he will be. So, yeah, there's no chance to follow. We have to kind of find a way to intercept that guy. Charlie 5 going the back. Charlie 5 going around the back? Oh, no. Uh, Delta 5, Charlie 5, like. Yeah, so Charlie 5 is bad. I thought he was going to I Charlie 4. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna win this game anyway. I think. Did you hit him? Did you find him? Really? Oh, uh, he's coming back. My anticipation is failing me today, big time. Oh yeah, the summoner is actually getting dropped by this lanner. Three seconds. One more shot. Come on. And done. All right. He actually shut down. So <laughs> we could have gotten him. Anyway, game is over. The last seconds, the last minutes of the game were super, super weird. I was just trying to get somewhere to actually go there and then everybody is dead already and here we are, guys. So, we got zero killing blows, but two kill most damage dealt with 10 assist, about 668 damage done, 300 taken and two components destroyed. That was your daily dose for today and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, guys, don't forget to leave a rating, hit the subscribe button for more daily content and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.